Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY and today we're going to go over different compaction methods. We have a jumping jack tamper, a vibratory plate compactor, and a good old fashioned hand tamper. Now we're going to evaluate these three different ways, compaction rating, ease of use, and finish. What type of finish they give when we're done tamping. Now we're going to test it out onto a modified stone dust and regular soil. We're also going to do it on a level pad and we're going to try it on a slope and see how that goes. That way it gives you guys a better understanding of the benefits each of these machines have and which one you are going to need on your next project. Before we start anything, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Jono Ace Hardware in Jonestown, Pennsylvania. They're the ones who graciously lended me these compaction tools for this video today. They have an awesome, awesome assortment of rentals if you have the need. They have these compactors, they have earth moving equipment, two ton dump truck, mini excavator, skid steer, they got uh, concrete tools, nailers, ladders, uh, anything for attachment wise. You name it, they got it. That's the place to go. I wanted to say huge thank you again. And if you guys have any needs for rentals, that's the place to go. They are so friendly there. They always meet you with a smile and they always get what you need. I'll leave their info in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna do our compaction test and we're gonna do it on this level pad. We're gonna be putting a patio in here so all of this is leveled out. Um, we did it with, shot it with the laser level. It should be within a quarter to a half inch maximum variation over the entire pad. So we're gonna start over here and we're gonna do our hand tamper here. We're gonna do our vibratory plate here. And over here we are going to do our jumping jack. Okay, so all of this stuff is level across the middle here, front and back. Um, we are sitting at 10 inches and three quarters. So 10 and three quarters is our starting height. The harder they compact, the deeper that it will get. So let's get started. We made three passes in each section with its respective tamper. Where we passed over three times, we measured with the laser transit to get our compaction depth. Okay, so here are the results for our compaction. We have our hand tamper at a minimum compaction of a quarter inch all the way up to an inch. Now this is going to depend a lot on how hard you tamp it, but we did three passes and we packed it in pretty good. Uh, for our vibratory plate compactor, we had a minimum compaction of a half inch all the way up to an inch. So it kind of compares to the hand tamper. Now the best one was obviously our jumping jack. This thing really packs a punch. We had a minimum of an inch compaction all the way up to a two and a quarter inches. So this is definitely the one to use to get your soil really solid. But as you may see, it leaves a little bit of ridges and this one is pretty much really flat. So if you can, I would definitely recommend this for the pad um, and compact uh, because it does such a good job at it. But if you have to go over it with either a vibratory plate to smooth it out or you can use a hand tamper to smooth out some of the ridges. So that's it for the soil compaction. Okay, for our next compaction test, what we're gonna do is this bed of modified in my driveway. We loosened it up with the backhoe behind me and right now, this pad is sitting at three and a half inches. So we leveled it out the whole way. Okay, so it's all well within quarter of an inch for the whole pad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run the hand tamper 
vibe and the jumping jack and see how well it compacts this. Okay, so for our test, this thing is easiest, the fastest, easily the fastest. Jungle the jack, hand tamper, about the same. So we'll go ahead and measure and see which one did better. Okay, so for our compaction of 2A modified in lane one with our hand tamper, we had a compaction of a quarter inch pretty much throughout the whole thing. For our vibratory plate in lane two, we had about a half inch. So a quarter inch better than our hand tamper. And for our jumping jack, we had three quarters of an inch of compaction. This really got it tight and knit good, and it really was actually pretty smooth. So um, this was uh, smooth also, but with the turning and stuff, it kind of made a little bit of ruts in it. So for 2A modified, this is definitely the way to go, especially if you're doing a driveway. You're definitely gonna need that compaction when you're running heavy equipment cars on it and stuff um, if you're gonna go ahead and pave over this modified definitely go with this it's gonna get your compaction in and you're not gonna have any settling when you park your cars on it so that was 2a modified now let's go ahead to the next thing okay for our next test we're gonna be doing some stone dust we're not going to do a compaction test because this is only an inch thick and we already tamped the base of this for the driveway all I want to do is see how well of a finish it gives and the speed of it. For the results of our stone dust test, the hand tamper did the worst. It's really uneven and it looks choppy. That goes also for the jumping jack tamper. It does look smooth, but it's not as even. Some places got pounded a little bit harder and it's not as smooth. Now for the plate compactor, you may see some footprints in there, but the overall finish is very uniform and flat. So this one takes the win. Okay, now for our last thing that we're gonna test out and that's the slope. Right here we have a 30 degree slope. Uh, we dug this bank back and we want to put some mulch and like a flower bed in here. Um, but the soil is really loose and the water keeps washing it away so I want to knit it in before we go ahead and do that. Um, I definitely have my reservations about this. Uh, the jumping jack tamper is going to be a nightmare I think. The plate tamper eh, might be okay going down the hill. We'll see how it does up the hill. And uh, the hand tamper I think might just uh, win it out on this one. So uh, we'll go ahead and see. Well, it looks like the clear winner to the slope challenge is the hand tamper, unfortunately. It's gonna take us tons of time to do it, but everything else was just too much. We cut the plate tamper up the hill, but it took two people to do it. And I tried going um, horizontally with the jumping jack, but it just didn't work all that well either. So, unfortunately, I got a lot of hand tamping in my future. Okay, so we are finally done with all of our tests and uh, we'll go with this as a clear winner of compaction. This thing just pounds and pounds and pounds. It is great for compaction. Um, where it does lack, um, you gotta muscle this thing around a little bit. Uh, it is a little bit harder to maneuver, especially if you have really soft soil. It tends to wanna dig in with the foot. Um, as far as modify goes, this is the ticket. This really knits it in good. 
and it's a good compaction tool. The vibratory plate compactor, a little bit less, um, almost similar to this. I mean, if you really go at it, the speed of this thing is ridiculous. It will just zip through stuff, especially this pad back here. Once we got that modified on, I mean, it just glided across, made everything super smooth. That's what I really like about this. Um, if you use these in tandem, use this for compaction, use this as a finishing tool. That is the perfect setup. If you want to go old school, go ahead and use this hand tamper. It really helped with the slope. This is the only thing that really worked because it was too much to lift and, or pull anything else up. So good old fashioned hand tamper still has its place. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY and make sure you subscribe to keep up to date with more videos. Thanks again guys and I hope to see you next time.